Two teams ready, they hope, to clear the final hurdle, the final Europa League hurdle, and the atmosphere is building up already. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to court. Look at the starting 11 today. Well, it's a 3-5-2, but the key player is the holding midfield player. Not only does he protect the back three, he also is their link-up man when they play out from the back. He has to play well. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Edmond Tapsoba plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Excellent block. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, wow, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Risky play. The one player who they'll be intent upon containing is Mario Pasalic. What do you expect to see from him today? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Pashanic and Leverkusen come away with it and it took a little nick before it went over the touchline so a throw in here the target there that's a poor finish well what a chance to take the lead and doesn't he know it but will they get a better one than that a poor from the keeper Frimpong Hoffman and unable to keep the ball are a real threat trying to open them up can he finish a strong club on the ball from the keeper Adli and showing the importance of which Holtman can he get them the lead a fine save <laughs> played over half-hearted clearance Grimaldo Usunu
quick thinking defensively. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. Must be able to close down the shot. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Who can they pick out? Well, a nearly moment, you've got to say. Hans Hatterborn. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Zappa Costa. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. This is looking threatening. And still looking to get the shot away. intercepted effortlessly and moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here to play it in and the danger clear clean challenge Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Andri. And intercepted it. threaded pass here well a top notch piece of defensive judgment not a huge chunk of added time one minute Palacios Hoffman and that is defending of the highest order well that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal So back underway here into the second half. Gianluca Scamacca. Just the challenge that was required. And they trouble the opposition this time. Mario Pasalic. Zappa Costa. And it's played into the centre. And in the end, no damage done. Usunu. Regained possession. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the referee...
blows the whistle, it is a free kick. Well, clattered away. Green point. And given away by Leverkusen. Continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Adli, Ezequiel Palacios. And we're into the final half hour. Frimpong, Amin Adli. about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top class finish well all eyes are on the manager what's he gonna do to turn this around Started 1 0 here. A glorious chance and a goal! That's it, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, baby. And as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's a good play for me. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. And the ball is moving again. Skamaka. Gianluca Skamaka. And the emphasis is on creativity. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Hoffman. with Pasharic. And they've given back possession easily. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Granite Xhaka. This looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. That carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Really good build-up, but no end product. Decent-looking pass. He's going forward well here. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. 
Well, he's so frustrated, isn't he? It's another wasted opportunity. And they will make the change now. So the corner played into the box. And it still could be dangerous. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Over it comes. Good clearance. Very quick thinking there. Percentage option to try your luck from there. Well, his teammates aren't particularly happy. He was never going to score from there. And time for the change now. Granite Jacker. Florian Pierce. And Patrick Schick now. Genuine chance. That is how to keep it out of the net. And a loss of concentration. And off target in the end. And that'll be a goal kick. say what a great achievement this is and so well deserved as you mentioned they were excellent tonight what a good performance that was the party can certainly start now that's a party to last throughout the year i should think and that is the next order of business the walk up the ramp towards the europa league trophy well, you have to say, it's a great achievement for the club and all these players. For a captain, it's a moment you do not take for granted. The Europa League winners. They put so much into this campaign, and now they have their reward. Now they can go and celebrate with their fans. They've been a big part of it. They deserve to see that come. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, they'll be loving this. They really have backed their team throughout this competition. They have a great bond with the players, don't they? That's lovely to see. Yes, it is all about a shared experience. These celebrations will run long into the night. Well, they need to take all this in, don't they? These are moments to savor. It's been a great night for everybody involved. You are looking at the UEFA Europa League winners.